What's up? It's Travis McCoy. Thank you so much for submitting your questions. I can't wait to answer them. And a special thanks to Romeo for having me. So let's dig right in. Hank from California. That was a chair, I promise. Who are your biggest career influences? Um, I would have to say uh, my big brothers and Fallout Boy, most definitely, undubitably, for uh, kind of being there and taking us under their wing and showing us the ropes. Summer from London, what was your first tattoo? My first tattoo was actually when I was 14, I got a spray can tattooed on my right arm, which was a dumb idea because I was probably one of three kids in my town that wrote graffiti. So it was kind of like a scarlet letter, so I got it covered up really quick. Thank you. Chad from Newport, growing up, who did you look up to the most and why? Uh, growing up, I looked up to my dad a lot, and I still do. He's a hard-working, blue-collar fella, and uh, he's a, he, he set a really awesome example for me, and he's why I am the man I am today. Thanks, Pops. Thanks for your question. Robin from Scotland. I think I know Robin. Are you planning on going on tour next year when your new album comes out? Yep. <laughs> of course. <laughs> you gotta support your album when you put it out. You know what I'm saying? And touring is the best way to support it. Duh. I was being very nicely sarcastic there. Lana from San Francisco. Are there any famous people you haven't met yet that you would love to meet? Nope. Stacy from Sacramento. Will Stitch and Scrump make any cameos on a video soon? They sure will. And they'll be coming to a city near you on the next tour, whenever that is. Will from Minneapolis. What other celebrity do you feel you most resemble? None. Angelica from Florida. Angelica from Florida. At what age did you realize music was your passion? Um, at a very young age. I think probably when I first um, started mimicking Michael Jackson, um, probably th three or four, when I started doing the pelvic thrusts and the hee hees, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Marshall from Cincinnati, out of all the Gym Class Heroes tours, which has been your favorite and why? That's a tough one, there's been a lot of Gym Class Heroes tours, um, but I have to say, my favorite Gym Class Heroes tour would probably be the Daryl Hall for President tour, which was with us, Chaos, and P.O.S. and the R.X. Bandits. And it was um, an amazing time. Absolutely amazing. Mia from Germany. What motto or value do you live your life by? Um, not to sound cliche, but do unto others however that ends. Adriana from Miami. What type of woman catches your eye? Naked ones. Jacqueline from Ottawa. What's your favorite and least favorite part about being a famous musician? My favorite part is making music and being able to travel the world and play my music in different countries and far off distant lands. Uh, my least favorite part would probably be um, uh, early lobby calls having to fly out super early. Marie from Ottawa, who is your celebrity crush? Um, right now, I would probably say my celebrity crush is No. Hell no. Um, hold on. Uh, my celebrity crush would have to be... Uh, what's your name? Uh, the chick from, uh, from, uh... Shit. 
She was in um. She uh, she, uh, she was just in Wonderlust with Jennifer Aniston and Paul Rudd. Nah, fuck that. My um, my celebrity crush is Judd Apatow's wife. I don't even know her name, but she could get it. <laughs> What's her name? She's bad, dude. I'm on my mil I'm on my milf right now, man. I'm telling you, she's hot. Stephanie from Toronto asked, "Are you planning on getting more tattoos? If so, what do you want to get?" Um, my adventures in tattooing are far from over. Um, I still have a whole back that is untouched, and uh, a friend of mine is actually drawing out um, a very huge. Um, intricate piece for me at the moment and then we'll dive in and get that rocking and I'll show you pictures of it as soon as it's done pink swear Tristan from Westchester I know Tristan what do you want to get for Christmas this year um it's funny I can answer that with the next person's name a DeLorean on to the next. DeLorean from St. Charles asks, where do you get inspiration for your music from? Um, mostly everyday life and things that I go, th go through, um, be it uh, relationships, be it friendships, family, things, uh, TV shows, books I read, all kinds of stuff. I never know when I'm gonna catch the spark and feel like writing a song. But yeah. Michael from NYC asks, where do you see yourself in 20 years? Well, I'm 32 now, so that'd be 52. Um, preferably on an island in the West Indies, growing papayas and not having internet. Larissa from Dresden, what's the strangest thing a fan has ever asked you to sign? Sierra from Philadelphia, what is your favorite song to, song to what Sierra from Philadelphia? Sierra, Sierra from Philadelphia asked, what is your favorite song to perform? As of lately, my favorite song to perform has been probably Martyrio Girls. There's something about that song that gets me really, really hyped up. And I usually throw articles of clothing into the crowd and or walk on the barrier and almost fall off it's pretty fun to watch nick from vermont if you owned a label which artist would you want on your roster um i don't think i would want the headache of owning an actual label but if i did i would sign the minions from Despicable Me and make them put out Christmas albums. Evelyn from Connecticut says, what's, what's your shoe size? 13. You know what they say. Big socks. Lindsay from Mississippi, what's your greatest childhood memory? Um, my first birthday party. It's crazy that I even remember it, but I do. It was all Smurf themed. And my Aunt Tammy dressed up like a clown and s completely scared the shit out of me. Um, all I remember is her coming into the kitchen with a mop on her head and a red nose and me screaming violently and throwing cake everywhere. Anyways, thanks for bringing that up. I'm going to have nightmares tonight. Emma from Virginia. If you could collaborate with anyone living or dead, who would it be and why? Um, I'm going to give you the same answer I give everyone when I get this question, and it would have to be Andre 3000, uh, probably one of my favorite, no, hands down, my favorite rappers of all time. Darnell from Montreal asks, 
What was what was your cre- rec- the, what was your reaction the first time you ever heard one of your songs on the radio? I will never forget this. This was in San Diego, California. The first time I ever heard Cuba's Chokehold on the radio, and it was very surreal. And I remember sitting in the car, the van with Matt, um, listening to an interview that we had did that we had done with a uh, uh, a local radio station, and then them playing the song afterwards and. We jumped around like little girls and pulled each other's hair. It's pretty cute. Dustin from Indiana asked, how often do you get free time? Never. Hence me doing what I'm doing right now. Nikki from Washington, 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 Washington. Nikki from Washington, D.C. What are three words you would use to describe yourself? Tall, caramel, and handsome. Chad from Mexico City. What is the one thing that has changed the most since you became famous? My credit. Colleen from Manchester. What was the most memorable place you have ever performed and why? I think um, the Gorge in Washington is always... One of my favorite places to play because it's so beautiful to be before the show to just look down into the gorge and take all that beautiful scenery in and then play a show with that as the backdrop. It's pretty awesome. And we get to go fishing up there too, which is one of my favorite pastimes. Jimmy from Fort Lauderdale. If you could play any character in a film, who would you want to play and why? Um, I would probably have to say Bruce Leroy from the film The Last Dragon. And I would get the glow and go around whooping people's asses. Show sure enough. Zach from New Mexico. What was the biggest obstacle you had to overcome in your career and how did you overcome it? I think the biggest obstacle I had to overcome in my career was learning how to not take what everyone says on the internet so seriously. Um, I had a big, big issue with that. Earlier on in my career, I would um, spend hours surfing our, uh, our, uh, what are those things called? Um, they don't even have any more message boards. <laughs> Remember message, message boards? Noel from Los Angeles asks, do you have any advice for up-and-coming artists? Don't fucking do it. Give up now. Go get a job doing something you hate and spend the rest of your life doing that. You don't want to do this. Trust me. I'm just playing. Do what you want. Don't, don't ask me what you should do with the rest of your life. Do what makes you happy. And enjoy doing it. Why do you want to do something you don't want to do? It's silly. Lori from Boston asks, What are some turn-ons and turn-offs in a girl? We could be here all day. Um, I have to say some turn-ons would be um you gotta have a sense of humor you have to like soggy cereal and half melted ice cream and turn offs would be girls that take too many selfies and make twerk videos this is not cool unless you twerking for me you know what i'm saying <laughs> yeah. Anyways, Nicolette from California, what's your favorite candy to eat? Um, probably, I would have to say koala yum yums from Japan. These little koala bears with cookie outside and chocolate filling in the middle. And they're amazing. And I want some right now. Brianna from White Plains, is it ever hard performing songs about past relationships? Um, not really. <clears throat> in fact, it's kind of therapeutic um, to, well, I guess writing it all out and then letting it all out and letting it go. Um, so I guess every time I perform any of those songs, it's just helped me get over the heartache that was once felt for that particular person, I guess. No, I mean that. Petrus. 
It's a, quite a nice name. I like that name, Petrus. From Newfoundland, how do you get the crowd going at a concert like this? Um, no, I, I, I think for the most part, uh, we just try to push out as much energy from the stage into the crowd as possible. Um, and usually, if it's a good, 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 good energy, you can't help but to reciprocate and push that energy back. And it's just an exchange of energy, and uh, we all have a good time, and we each go home happy. Corey from Toronto, out of all the concerts you have put on, which ones do you clearly remember being most excited or nervous for? Um, I think the concert I was most excited or nervous for would probably be um, you guys, may, you might remember this incident. There was an incident where Akon threw a fan off stage <laughs> while we played that show, and I saw that whole thing go down. It was hilarious. But it just so happened that that particular show, my hero and all-time favorite singer, uh, Daryl Hall from Hall & Oates, was coming to say hello and check out Gym Class Heroes for the first time. And... I was geeking out and I didn't know what I was going to say to him, so I was pacing my dressing room with sweaty palms trying to figure out what I was going to say when he arrived. But it ended up being really cool and he's a very nice guy. Charlotte from Nebraska, what would you consider the I made it moment in your career? Um, I don't think I've really reached that moment yet and I don't hope to anytime soon. I think the 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 minute I hit that moment where I feel like I've made it, it'll make me lazy and not want to do anything else. I think anybody who gets to a point in their career and they need to go, you know what, I made it, just falls off and gets super content. And I don't ever want to be content. You got to stay hungry, you know what I'm saying? I don't. Anyways, Elena from the Philippines, what is your biggest goal for next year? Um, I would have to say my biggest goal, and I do not condone this in any way possible, but my biggest goal is to quit smoking cigarettes. Don't start if you haven't already. If you have, give the shit up. It's not good for you. It's not good for the people around you. And especially if you're trying to pursue, pursue a, a career in the music industry or business and you're a singer, a performer, it's not going to help you in any way at all. Smoking the bad, okay? Well, that's all the questions. Thanks again for submitting your questions for me. I really enjoyed answering them. And thanks again to Romeo. Over and out. Can I go home now?